Hi guys and welcome back. I've got another makeup tutorial for you today. If you're not part of the family already, please do subscribe. We've got loads of new products today. Not new necessarily on the market, but new for me and ones which I really need to recommend to you after doing this face today. Getting my hair done on Thursday guys as well. I'm going a bit blonder. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, so new moisturiser. We are going with the Alpha H and this is Protection Plus Daily SPF 50 Plus. This is basically like a moisturiser and a primer and an SPF in one. Mainly got this because of the SPF but really wants to just try and see what it was like as a primer as well. And this is the colour that it comes out but it does blend out really nicely. I think I've got a bit too much on. <laughs> I've got two more skincare things just to tell you about quickly. So this arrived today which is the drink of H2O from Tarte which I've heard is amazing. It's only £30 for 100ml, 50ml. I normally use the really small um, creme de la mer one so I'm hoping, and it's just run out and it's like £100 so I'm hoping this is a lot better. And this mask which is so much fun. This is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment and it goes on white and when it dries it's like metallic silver. If you managed to see my Snapchats the other day, oh my goodness me, they were fun. So we have a new foundation which is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I've gone from, for a darker colour in this purely because um, I have not been tanning my face recently so I really wanted um, something to sort of match up with my neck. So we've got a new setting spray today, we're using the Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm going to use this not only to set at the end but every time that I use a blender I'm going to be wetting it with this. I'm just going over the top of that foundation, just making sure it's really blended in and nicely. Just find it easier to apply it with the fingers beforehand. So that hasn't totally covered all of the imperfections in my skin but it is a buildable foundation so if I want I could put another layer on but I'm going to leave it there because we're going to go in with some concealer in a minute. But I'm going back to an old favourite at the moment, I'm going back to the NARS Laguna, oh what is this, no, Cappadocia, um, and I'm just going to contour this, it is warm, I would like something a little bit more cool toned but, and the jaw, and the nose. And then let's just blend that so we have an actual straight nose today. So I'm super late to the party with this one guys. I have gone for the Tarte Shape Tape and I have picked up the um, the colour Light Sand. First time I'm using it so I don't know if it's correct but this was in my package that I received today. I think it took like about a week to come from America. But there's 15% off if you use Clay 15 until the end of August if you were interested in picking up any of those yourself. I'm really hoping this lives up to the hype guys. Gosh it's very heavy duty. I'm throwing it everywhere. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've applied too much. Okay, you definitely needed the tiniest bit of this to go a long way. I'll be here a while blending. We're just gonna get ourselves a couple of tea coffees. So we're gonna set under the under eyes before we crease. I feel like we've like that's the right colour for me, but um a little bit less product next time. This one I've seen around a lot on YouTube uh, for quite a while now, so it really wants to try this out in comparison to the Laura Mercier powder, so I'll let you know how that goes. But this is the original RCMA powder, and it's the no colour powder as opposed to like the banana powder. Taking the seal off is I'm going to dip um, this brush into the top because instead of like tipping it onto something, because it's got like a little. You'd have to tip it onto something basically. Okay, so the brush is full and I'm just gonna pop it back into the lid to tap off any excess. I'm just gonna press this into the end dry so it's kind of like baking without using like too much excess powder. So I did use this in the last video but I am gonna go in with the um, contour bronzer and highlight with this bronzer, I just realized what I said, from this palette. This is this Charlotte Tilbury palette. It is the instant look in a palette for five face on the go, beauty glow. Going on to a little bit of bronzer. And then just before I go in with the highlight, I am going to go in with this Clarins blush, which is so shiny, I love it. Um, this is from the Autumn Collection, which has just come out, and I was gifted um, any Clarins products that I use now, and um, I have been gifted. This is the Blush Prodigy in 09 Golden Pink. Okay, highlighting now. 
I really do like this highlight. This is just the Filmstar Bronzing Glow, but it's within that palette. Okay, I feel like I'm sufficiently set, so I'm just going to brush off any excess powder. I really feel like I've been wasting my money all this time getting all Mercier products, guys, because I know they're very good, but that RCMA powder, really, really good. I'm just going to tidy up my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. It's Brow Wiz, Brow Definer. Bought this, which is the Wiz, which I used to use ages ago, and I instantly regretted it using it this morning. Remembered how quick and easy it was to use this, and I'm really sad that I wasted my money on the Brow Wiz. So let's just do it. Just get the definer. It's just easier. I'm using Old Brow Gel, which is the Benefit Ready Set Brow, just because it's clear, it does the job. I mean, I can't find a better one really. Okay, I've been wanting to get this one up for so long, but this is the Murphy, Murphy palette, the Morphe palette, and this is the 350M, so it's all matte shades, guys. It is beautiful, and I'm just going to take this very top colour here in the corner just to do a sort of base and a mirror. Ooh, these are pigmented. I really feel at the moment that the powder, the shape tape and these eyeshadows is something that I should have bought a lot sooner than I did. Just whilst I'm using the mirror I'm going to go back in with the highlighter and I'm just going to do the corner of my eyes and right underneath my brow bone there. I'm going to go in with this burgundy red colour down the bottom here because I'm going to do a red lip in a minute so hopefully this is going to look good and I'm really going to press this into the socket area and create like a half moon shape I just find that pressing it in just minimises the fallout I might go back actually and create a cut crease in a second God, it is pigmented! really can't get over the colour payoff on this I'm going to take that same colour underneath just before I go back in and do the cut crease but we're again just going to go about halfway. <laughs> I forgot how pigmented it was again then. Okay, so I'm just creating a sharp edge. Okay, so just to create the crease I am going to go back in with some more of this stuff. I'm just going to apply it to a small brush. I set the cut crease with, I'm feeling this colour in the middle. Just going to set all of those powder products. For eyeliner then, I'm taking the Clarins Graphic Ink Liner in 01 and we're just going to create a wing. I find this pen really easy to work with. Not a new one but I'm going on to the Lancome Hypnose Volume Reporter and I'm just going to do a quick coat on the top and bottom of the lashes because we're going to apply some new falsies. The lashes we are going to go for are the Lily Lashes and these are the Goddess Lashes. And I'm using the Duo Lash Glue because it is black and I feel that it just dries better and holds better. And last of all for the lips I'm going to line using the Clarins Lip Liner Pencil and this is in 06 Red. And then on the lips is going Too Faced Melted Matte and this is Cold Lady Balls. Okay guys, so that is the end of this look. My favourites out of these new products were the lips, the powder, and I want to say the Morphe palette as well, and also the um, Tarte Shape Tape Foundation as well. I um, forgot the name of that then. They're ones I feel like I should have got a long, long time ago, guys. Um, but I've got some brand new products in my next makeup video, which is coming next week. And hopefully they'll be here when I actually. It's the Desi Times Katie um, Colourpop makeup, so I'm excited to use that. I will say I'm not too sure what I think of this SPF as a primer. I really felt like it was difficult to blend the, um, the foundation and the powders on top. It's very, very, like, it's obviously all set now, but it's very, like, sticky. So a good primer in a way, but difficult to manoeuvre your makeup if it sets fast. Thank you so much for watching again guys, I've got one question which is would you like to see vlogs on this channel once on a Sunday, once a week on a Sunday or do you think I should keep putting those on my vlog channel? Um, I was daily vlogging over there but now I'm doing it weekly so I'm, I'm just not quite sure what to do yet and whether to have it all in one place and it'd just be one video a week. 
um, on a Sunday or what. But yeah, just let me know that for me, guys. But again, thank you for watching. And let me know what you thought of this look. And give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys soon.